everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to draw a simple sketch using the procreate app i know some of you have been asking me since long time how to use an ipad and a pencil this video is especially for them so this is the app that i use procreate these are some of my earlier works in this video i will show you how to draw a simple sketch a crab I have few colors already selected and uh, here we have brushes different types the most common brush that I use is add brush and this is the hard brush that I prefer now we will just select the color black just for the outline just make sure the length is right like if you just sketch something it's like a pencil like normal pencil and here you can reduce the opacity this is very simple just like drawing like in a pen or pencil so here we go now so first we have a layer selected and then we start with an outline if you guys want to draw a circle it's very simple just draw any shape around and then you get an option here edit shape and then you have ellipse and circle you can select a circle and it becomes a circle that's it so simple and you can reduce the size as you like so now just want to get rid of this one you can use a eraser increase the size a bit And then it is, it's like a normal eraser. Now for the crab eyes, I'm just going to draw a simple circle. Again, edit shape, circle. And then I need a oval shape for the eye as well. Edit ellipse. And a bigger one edit shape so one eye is complete we will do the same other side okay round weight and get the option circle And then, oops, if in case it goes wrong, you can just go back, that's it. Okay, and one more. That's it. Shape again, correct it. Okay, so now the eyes are complete. Now we need to draw the body. Across the legs, so what I basically do is like when I sketch, 
I use a la I use couple of layers. The first layer will be like draft, and then it will be a scribble normally. It won't be perfect shapes. So what I do is next I select second layer, and I will just trace it on the top of it. So it it I can reduce the errors. Like if I feel like they are out of shape or out of proportion, I can correct them at a later stage. But if you guys prefer, you can do it in the first go itself. Okay. Okay, now for the arm. It's done. Okay, it's like a crab now. Okay, so what I do next is I repeat what I have done just to correct these mistakes you see these edges are not in proper shape if you can see it's like a scribble so I need to make it more correct so what I do I draw it again maybe just zoom it a bit so it gives you exact shapes can draw freehand drawing doesn't have to be perfect shape just tap with your finger and then you will get an option edit shape circle and you can make a circle and if in case you need to draw an oval shape just draw whatever you like either you can tap it with your finger or you can hold it with your pen I will show you one more time. Okay, and just wait. You get this option, edit shape, and you, you find these blue dots here. This is what you need to use, increase or whatever this is that. So one eye is done, the next eye. Okay, shape again, circle. Okay, perfect. The other eye. Circle. Then now, um, oval shape. I will show one with my finger. Just draw and then tap. See? Then you can position them as you like. And that's it. Done. Then now I go around smooth edges. Okay, so now the outlining is done. You can delete the layer or you can keep the layer, whatever you like. I generally delete it. Now the fun part. First, let me just show briefly about the brushes that we have so that you guys can understand. 
these are the brushes if you select this option here on the top you will see a lot of brush this each one does different kind of thing so it's not the same everywhere like this is for sketching inking it saves a lot of time like for example the elements brush the cloud i really like that like if i if you ask me to draw a cloud it, it's like just a matter of seconds you know that's it and you have a cloud you can go Okay, now over to this sketch, I'll just show the coloring part. I've selected this color, red one, for the outer skin. Maybe probably I select another layer. Yeah, selected. So I can choose the brush size. I like to go a bit smaller. And then, yeah, I chose the wrong brush. Hard brush is what I prefer. So coloring part is so simple. You don't have to stress a lot. You can just get the outline first. Okay, I think I'm drawing in the same layer. That's why. Let me rename the, my new layer that I'm going to sketch as layer one. Let me get this layer one below layer two. So what happens is if, if I sketch anything on layer one, this thing will stay like layer two will stay. If I, if in case I have a layer on top of layer two, what happens is it will be overlapping the layer like that. Hope you guys can understand. So I'll delete this. I will take the layer one. So let me get the outline first. So it becomes so easy. You can just drop the color. Okay, that's it. Just make sure there are no open ends. Like if I can pull the color and drop, it only reflects the area that that is inside the outline. Don't worry if it goes outside the outline as well. You can erase them any time. Sometimes people ask me, is that fun drawing on an iPad than a paper and pen? I say, yeah, I kind of feel more easy. It saves a lot of time. Also, there is options like you can get a lot of brushes, different shapes. And if in case I need to draw something very specific, I can always have the option to zoom, zoom out, which is which can't be done in a paper. This is not the way to draw using an iPad, to be honest. There are much easier ways as well. 
like I should have got all the outline complete so like in one go you can pull the colors and drop like this there are some open ends in between like for example you see here there are some open ends so if I am going to drop a color in between this outline it won't accept let's say if I can show an ex example like if I'm going to draw a box yeah and then I drop a color it just stays with, within the box but if in case I have an open box if I'm going to drop a color it spreads all over the place that's, that's what is happening now that's why I have to give the shade every place that I want Anyways, I'm going to go a bit fast now. Okay, so now the body is complete. Let me start with the eye. Simple. Okay, now the eye is done. There are different ways to do this actually like i will show in a bit like say for example i don't have to disturb this color the black and the orange one so what i do is i create a new layer and I pull this all the way down below the layer so anything you draw over it won't be affected see it won't affect the eye since the layer is slightly below that so this is how you have to do it let me get a good yellow shade can go here and pick the color as well like if i need a darker yellow yeah this color would be nice then i need a bit of red And you have this tool here which actually kind of blends the color it, it gives you good nice dimension so 
like a 3D effect. get white just to show the reflection of light maybe I will do it over this layer so that I get the outline as well erased yeah Let me get a little darker white just for the eyebrows. Mm. 